there's a guy driving a big truckload of penguins to the zoo. And he's like really in a hurry and he's going along. He's got all of a sudden he breaks down. He's got car trouble, truck trouble. He doesn't know what to do. He's got all these penguins. And he sees another truck that's the same size coming down the street, going the same way. And he flags him down. He says, look, buddy, I'll give you, I'll give you 100 pounds if you take these penguins to the zoo. Because I've really got to get them there because they, you know, they're waiting for him. So the guy says, all right, mate, throw them in. So they throw them in, the, take the penguins, they put them in the truck, and the guy leaves. Meanwhile, the fellow with the broken truck goes to have a sandwich while it's getting repaired. And he's sitting in a little cafeteria looking out the window. And, and he sees the guy with, who he gave the penguins to in the truck walking across the street with all these penguins following him. And he runs out. And he says, hey, man, hey, man, what's going on with you? I gave you 100 pounds to take those penguins to the zoo. He says, relax. I took them to the zoo. I got some money left over. Now I'm taking them to the movies. <laughs> No laughing in the background, please. Yeah. Now, who gave you that joke, Daddy? Uh, I, I don't remember. It's an old joke that I've heard. I, 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 you know, since I played the penguin, a lot of people uh, give me penguin jokes. So that's like one of them. I am going to put the battery in. Wow. Okay. This is exciting, This man. is high-tech stuff. Okay. Uh, you've, you've relaxed me a little with your joke. Good. Uh, it's deeply stressful learning no, my no, questions. Don't, yeah, don't worry <laughs> about them. Let's see, that's a really big clock. Does everybody see that clock? It's a huge Man, clock. It's big. I'm going to put the battery in, okay. and Danny DeVito is going to count us down. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, okay here are we go. Ready? Are you ready? Five, four, three, two, one. This is it. Five minutes, baby. <laughs> what is it like being Danny DeVito? It's so much fun. I have a ball from the moment I get up until the moment I go to bed, and then I think I dream funny, too. I have a lot of funny dreams. Can you describe yourself in a sentence? Uh, you know, kind of like a fun-loving uh, 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 gentleman. Are you going to tell me any of your dreams? Oh, uh, no, I couldn't tell you my dreams because she said that this is like a lot of kids watch these uh, shows. Okay, we'll move so, on swiftly. Yeah. Did you always want to be a comic actor specifically? No, I, I didn't always want to be an actor. I was like, I did a lot of jobs when I was a kid. I, was, I, I worked on the, I, putting kids on the rides down at the beach. My first job was as a 14-year-old kid down in the shore, seashore. You know, they get on the little ride, the, ring the bell. You tell them ring the bell and go around the fire engine or whatever they have. And then uh, that was my first job. Then I was... Uh, where uh, was that? That was in Asbury Park, New Jersey. That's where I was born. That was your first States. job. That was my first job. I was 14. I was got my working papers, and that's what I did. And I did that in the summertime because it was a resort town, so there was a lot of that going on. And then I got a job as a gardener, as assistant. So I worked as a gardener. I love outdoor work. I really like that kind of thing. So I worked uh, mowing lawns and hedge clipping and all that kind of stuff, planting lots of uh, different flowers and flower beds and stuff like that. Then later on, when I, was, I graduated high school, which was about 18 years old, 19 years old, I had no place to go to work. And my sister had a beauty parlor. So my sister, I'm talking fast because I know it's five yes. minutes. So the idea is my sister had a beauty parlor, and, and she said, you know, come on and work for me in the hairdressing. I said, well, I don't know anything about it. So she said, well, I'll send you to school. I said, well, all right, you know, because I, I wasn't going to go to college. I needed to get a job. Anyway, bottom line is she sent me to this uh, place called the Wilford Academy um, Beauty School and I was dragging my feet all the way I thought this is going to be terrible you know I'm going to go there I don't know she gave me f some tips on a few things on how to do it you know with hair so I go to school I go to school and I have my little smock on you know the whole thing the hairdresser like kit with all the stuff we're and two I, minutes in daddy and I walked in I'm going as fast as I can and I walk in and, and it was from that moment on I was indebted to my sister for the rest of my life because there were 40 girls my age wanting to be hairdressers in there or about three guys. So it was like really a fantastic job. And then after that, I went to the American Academy of Dramatic Arts and I studied acting. And now here I am at the Savoy Theater in the West End. OK, now I'm going to give you some really quick questions to make up for this very, very long story. Yes. One, what is your best film of all time? You don't have I to don't, have been involved in it. Oh, I don't, I don't really have a favorite. I mean, I like a couple of, I like uh, The Miracle of Milan, which is a movie that was directed by Vittoria De Sica. And I like a, all, almost everything Fellini's done. And I, I'm a big fan of that kind of, that, those kinds of neorealistic, uh, you know, Rossellini and the Open City and stuff like that. What sort of music do you listen to? I listen to all eclectic, got very eclectic music all over the place, from oldies to newies to like, I, I listen to Mike Patton, I listen to, uh, uh, you know, Fantomas, and I, all the, you know, all across the board, I, I just dig really good music. Do you see yourself 
first and foremost as a director or an actor? I think an actor because, uh, you know, I mean, I started out acting. I, I really know what I'm doing as a director, but I, I really love, and this is like a whole other experience being on stage. Well, what's it like being on Fantastic. stage? Fantastic. I mean, I love being here. Is it more of a challenge? It's, a, it's, it's, a, it's more of a communication with the audience, you know, like, the show is the show. The Sunshine Boys is a really funny play. Richard Griffiths, we're having a great time in it. But absolutely as important as the audience. And it just feeds you. When the audience is cooking, when you give something to the audience and they're coming back at you, it's like a synergy that just keeps mo moving like a machine. You've got so many lines in the play. Do how I? On earth, <laughs> how on earth do you remember I'm, well, them? You know, you study. You're an actor. That's what you do. You act. It's a, it's a, it's a thing you learn how to do and you do it. Moment to moment, you have help. And also, I was directed by Thea Sherrock, who's a wonderful director, and, and, and Richard's a uh, you know, uh, uh, terrific uh, partner. And Not everyone will know that you used to have a production company. Yeah. Well, I still have a production company called Jersey Films, but we don't, we're not as active as we were like when we did uh, Get Shorty, Matilda, uh, Hoffa, uh, uh, Pulp Fiction, Pulp Fiction um, uh, uh, all kinds. Of, we've done tons of movies. They're all online. You can see them. Tell me what you do outside of work. I just, uh, I only work. I work and I, you know, once in a while I, I hang out with my friends, you know, party a little bit like that. But mainly it's, it's from morning to night. I concentrate on things that I, I follow my bliss, things that I make me really feel good. And what makes me feel best is when I'm working. Key to being a good actor. Five I seconds. I think it's just concentration, listening to the director, listening to people, understanding what they say and what you say. Bingo. Okay, time's up. Get out. Get the hook. Big swinging bag. Knocks me off stage. How can you do this to me? How can I be reduced to five minutes with you? I don't know. You? Did I reduce? I <laughs> thought my that's fault. the name of your it's show. True, it's true. It's true. Okay. We didn't get through loads of questions. We got through a lot. Yeah, we got through a lot of stuff. It was very good to meet you. Oh, it was you. really great. Actually, you. a real privilege to meet Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm glad you enjoyed the show.